already went back after the uh, first round. Oh. He's in trouble. Oh. He's in trouble. Oh, hard punches. Looking to land those shots now. Josie not coming oh. back with anything. He's wobbly. He's down again. Right hand lands around like a rag oh. doll in there. Josie, oh. Oh! oh. That is the money shot and he's down. A left hook right on the jaw and he's down. It's the third time, it's over. Fight is hot. There he is, it's there the winner, Tijani Bastadi. Wow, that was a wonderful performance from Tijani Bastadi, starting with the low kicks, and then in the second round, getting those punches in a great left, well, what was it, an uppercut? It was a little bit in between an uppercut and a hook. The lightweight championship of the world. Yeah, very strong start for Tijani Bestadi, using that jab really well. The left kick, finding his improved boxing, very evasive with his style. But Koprovlinski always countering back, always in his face, continuing to press. And Stoyan did a great job continually to press forward as the fight went on, but I think Tijani just a little sharper on the outside. The way he moved, fighting backwards, mixed in good power combinations, used his legs well, blocked low kicks very well, and very fantastic fight for a trilogy. And again, I'm gonna say, there might see a fourth between these guys on how good they fought. Look at these statistics. They come here are our five round highlights. The left kick specialist just continued to be dominant, mixing levels with it, a lot of inside leg kicks. This one a little low, but he mixed well to the body. We saw improved boxing from him with that left straight, but ultimately he stepped, kept to his guns, that left kick from all different level changes. Singles, doubles, flying knees, just dominant from all rounds. Barely gets hit, a master of distance control. He's outside throwing left kicks, front kicks. On the inside, he's throwing hands, putting you in positions where you can't hit him. And a lot of those head kicks, man, one inch, dominant way establishing that left kick i mean with that kick it's really hard to get around like i always say the fight with Petch is how do you deal with that left kick and yamada really didn't have an answer he just ate a lot of them off the arm Petch continued to come forward and clinch up and throw big powerful knees on the out the right hand he could be saved by the bell once again here unbelievable the shots are sinking in to the body and the head Big oh, right hand, left hook. Oh my God, unbelievable. He's still Open those legs in. I don't think he's seen it. Oh! And he took an uppercut himself. Just like we were talking about. Round number three, this one went back and forth. We was just saying how we thought Antonio had problems with his legs and he landed that big right hook, water shot, dropped Tarek down to the canvas, boom. With a right hand, Pazabot punching through the guard, chopping the legs, can he get the finish? Oh, he pulled the guard and found the down. right hook. Katina's on the only legs, he he's, he's, he's out, out. He's, he's out, out. he's gone. He's out, what he a finish. he wouldn't leave the first round and then he delivered, he kept his promise. Antonio Pazabot stayed patient. Used his high guard, pressured, ripped the body, found the punches. I don't care if your guard's up, Antonio punched right through it. And Cantinas went right through the ropes with those power shots. Wow, what a finish by Antonio Plazaba taking a big risk as the number one contender fighting number 10. And this is what he wanted. And I'm excited to hear what he has to say in the ring.